defenseman Brent Tully and top scorer Jamie Langenbrunner. The Peets fell a little bit short. No scoring in the game until the 433 mark of the second. Peterborough was on the power play when Rob Giffen tucks a rebound past Sandy Allen. 1 0 Peets. A couple of minutes later, the Peets are killing a four minute major. Watch the wax Rob Giffen and Dave Roach get on Allen, but no goal to show for it. The Centennials get even at 11.39. Peterborough native Jim Ensom connects on a two-on-one. Game tied at one. North Bay goes ahead on the power play. Paul Doherty makes it two to one. Then a major brawl breaks out. Even Pete's goalie Chad Lang in on this one. Both Lang and Dave Roach get tossed. Lang will be gone for a two-game suspension. The teams are sent to their dressing rooms at this point. Into the third period now, North Bay ends up with a four-minute man advantage after that brawl. Lee Jinman capitalizes at 339. That makes it 3-1. to one. The Peets get that one back. On the power play, Mike Williams picks up a rebound, and it's past Allen, 3-2, to two, North Bay. The Peets pull Douglas in the last minute, but ironically, it's Bill Lang, Chad Lang's brother, that puts the icing on the cake for a 4-2 to two North Bay victory. Well, uh, you know, we had, we had a disappointing performance in Kingston last night. We weren't playing well, uh, just doing the little things right. We weren't doing that. And uh, tonight we tried to stress our defensive game and uh, get our offense from our defense, and I think we did that. You know, we were without Tully, out Langham Runner, without Harding. Uh, those are three pretty key individuals to our hockey club. And uh, I thought, in general, most, most of the guys came and worked very, very hard. Uh, we went over a game plan. We tried to keep it very simple. And to hold a team like North Bay to, to three goals, well, four with the empty net, uh, we felt very, uh, very encouraged by that. Finally, again, the 